Hello, welcome back to Let's Play. Greedfall. And we're doing Bishop Petrus's mission, which is looking into the sordid affairs of the people that live in Tolima. The Mother Cardinal and such like that. Because that's a thing to do. Barrack Streets. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sarde, legate of the Merchant Congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? <coughs> Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined, but nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble, Legate or no Legate. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. <clears throat> I thought for sure that would go into a fight. Okay. So, what's the next mission that we want to do? This one. about in improving my uh, gear at some point. Okay, going in the right general location. And this will answer a lot of the uh, Trius side quests we have. Interesting, I think 
we're going to have to go through. There wasn't much other way around that. Unfortunately. I need to go to the blacksmith. So I went the wrong way. Around here. Okay, I see where I went wrong. Okay. Right. Yep. Be red. Where's? Please. I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait. This is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay the Blau. The one we wanted to talk to. Interesting. By the enlightened, look at this body. These people have killed an inquisitor, and they probably made us come here so that we too meet the same fate. I doubt it. They would have attacked us immediately. Let's see what they have to say to us. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy. But I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. And we didn't think that the Anol Menawi we were told about would come with another son. Stop! This one is different. And we need their help. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Enaikse amongst the Lugayed Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But. We don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. I think she's the one who came to our village to interrogate our Mal about our rituals. We can't trust her. Before speaking of trust, maybe you should tell me why you made me come here. Two nights ago. We attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the Sun. This Red Sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us, like the others. He had killed some of my brothers, so I killed him. I don't have a lot of affection for the Ordo Luminous, but I doubt this man deserved such a fate. And did our people deserve to be burned? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But, because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. 
The Red Sun had a key on him, and also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free, but the Renaigse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it, or the suns will keep burning our people. What's your opinion, Petrus? This warrior isn't wrong, even though I disapprove of her methods. If we let the Ordo Luminis continue to do this, we will have the same problems with the natives as the Alliance. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry! Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Go back to town. We'll wait for you. So Petrus is not an Inquisitor. Good to know. He does not approve of the Inquisition. Also good to know. right term for it, but the attitude that they're describing the natives as one faction. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. shopping spree soon when I finished a couple of uh, when I finish these side quests and I decide which one I want to do next I think I'll try to take on Afra's through the secrets of the living, but the dead on the other hand. I feel like I'm desecrating a tomb. I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. Find some new elements and orders regarding the continuation of our operation in your chest at our headquarters. May the enlightened protect you. This letter mentions a secret camp. <coughs> Apparently our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus, we may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. If this chest exists, there must be a key. It has to be here. Let's continue searching. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest, with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Yep. Oh dear. Hey you! Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? To be truthful, my friend is only accompanying me. I am the one who was visiting this home, precisely because I was hoping to find out where Father Claudius might be. I was sent by the Cardinal Mother, of course. 
Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you'd like us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This snake gave up too quickly. I suspect that we'll soon meet our new friend again. We should make use of this moment of respite to go visit the quarters of the Order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Well, it's the headquarters of the Inquisition. You would think it would be infested with members of the Inquisition. Yes. Wrong turn. It's not like they're being that secret. You had an Inquisitor murderer guy out here, as well as that Guardian, just a little while ago. I'm gonna think it I'm gonna say this is not the right place. Is this a stable? <coughs> it's a weird place for one. Ah, right, here we go. Nope. Just here. We hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We'd also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refractory native subjects. I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible or to meet us the path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the secluded glade where we built the camp, as it is imperative that our operations remain secret for now. May the Enlightened protect you. The Thanks to these lose. documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. I hope the warriors will find a discreet way to set their comrades free. <coughs> Attacking a camp of the Order could quickly turn into a slaughter for both sides. Yeah, that would be an unfortunate thing. All of our products are a blessing from the enlightened. We supply the mother cardinal herself. so far. Not a lot of fighting in this uh, last couple videos. Well, the first video was me looking for comfortable vests. I was like, we thought you wouldn't come for another day. It's like, um, by the same regard, I've left this sitting for a a month? I forget how much time in game has passed. So, did you discover anything? I did. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? 
You're not the ones this so-called Leggett betrayed. We are. And that a missionary as eminent as you has helped her, Petrus. I would never have thought it possible. Here comes the fight. The Ordo Luminous is prepared to start waging a merciless war against the natives. With the sole purpose of converting them in a secret camp which is nothing but a torture room. <laughs> and you dare to show such disdain towards me? <laughs> I take it as a compliment. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics when she should be following her faith instead. You're not we will faith. fight these monsters by your side, on Menawi. Maybe a light will protect me in this battle. <laughs> You don't have seconds. to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. It would be best if nobody in Teleme caught wind of our involvement in this matter. Even though the actions of the Order are very questionable, we might be held responsible for these men's deaths. You're right, Father. It would be regrettable if this matter were to put our alliance in jeopardy. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. She might also have a better opinion of us. Our last encounter was a bit tense. You first came in the name of the Moin Shakers. But she'll change her tone after what you've just done. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bartir to mad on all Minawi. And thanks again. Okay. And my timer is about to run down. I think it is time to head and uh, switch out some companions a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we're going to uh, bring uh, Afra on. Oh, talk to just. Talk to Father Justinius. Hmm. I think there's going to be a probably going to be a campsite up there, so we'll go up there. Yeah. And when we get to the campsite, that'll be the end of this video. shielded. It's a very violent shield spell. I'm gonna collect some berries. And some berries.
That's what I thought. It's a camp area. Sade, I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. But they call it a dangerous place and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Yes. Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. And that'll be the end of this video. Talk to you later.